Hello and welcome to my photo manipulation tutorial in which I will try to show you how you can manipulate an ordinary looking photo like this into a decent photo like this. Um, you can see how this one stands out, looks uh, better composed and generally pops better than this. This is a photo that I took some years ago. I didn't really think that this was a great photo. It's taken from inside a car as you can see. And first I will start with cropping out the unwanted portions. Uh, the car bonnet can be cropped out like this. You can do uh, image uh, crop to selection. Get this uh, basic image now. From here we can uh, you can see that this is the base from which I'll be working on and uh, first I'll make some color adjustments like color curves and you can see that I want this uh, photo to pop out so you can reduce and adjust the curves like this to get a more darker looking foreground which actually makes the photo looks a bit more interesting you can see that uh, adjusting the curves can make the darker portions look a little darker because it adds a bit of depth to this image you can see that uh, made it dark enough and now I want to remove the distracting elements from this photo and for that I'll be using a bit of cloning clone brush can be used for removing this uh, car's uh, front uh, bonnet I can remove this by using the clone brush as you can see here clone tool and uh, just select the source of cloning and uh, by using control and click and start removing this uh, slowly carefully work your way through this uh, clone tool and remove this background remove this distracting foreground element from the background as you can see I work slowly make sure that uh, this merges well into the background actually when you're cloning uh, it doesn't need to be perfect obviously won't get it to look exactly like how it would be in the background but can make it merge uh, reasonably well zoom in when you want to and uh, just remove these uh, bits from from the photo you can use the clone brush tool it's quite effective that way and uh, this works well especially with the distant backgrounds and where you need to uh, remove unwanted uh, wires or electricity cables from the photo and in this case I'm just removing this uh, nasty looking foreground object trying to make it uh, combine with the background somewhat reasonably and see that uh, I keep uh, changing the source of the clone area to try and can see here and move this and get the this part right and see that keep working slowly there's no hurry and as you can see that I will be removing this fully trying to merge it foreground obviously there's a bit more left here again zoom in and again the road can paint over this you see that I try to As seamlessly as possible, we'll try to remove this bit and distract the element.
can see that it's been removed now and when you see the zoom part we want to remove these small bits as well can uh, see that it's easier to remove small objects the clone brush similarly these yellow bits not really helping much are they these parts can be easily removed you can see these are all distractions which I uh, don't want let's see it's reasonably easy to move these elements let's try dark here no one want this either see that I like to remove these distracting elements from these photos because they don't add any much value to the photo and at the same time let's see how just to remove this yeah. you can see this is the final one so we can get back and basically try and work on this part so we can remove this nasty looking line coming across and we make dark and close it you see now that I have removed the majority of the distractions in this photo look at the corners and again this corner just try and remove this elements here doesn't look too bad now this is the photo and uh, finally you can of course add some effects to this and uh, I try to use the analog guys uh, effect uh, not too much contrast a little bit of saturation and I uh, can see this looks uh, you can see how much adds a little bit of depth actually to this and you can see that does make this look a little better of course again adjust the curves slightly increase it doesn't look too bad you can see uh, it looks uh, quite decent actually make it pop out a bit more by adding uh, I'm using FX foundry and uh, enhancement using FX tone mapping can add tone mapping to this image to make it look a bit more bright mapping this image and can sharpen by adding a luminosity sharpen filter and put a little more sharp pops out a bit more now so that's the way I've uh, enhanced this image from what it was earlier to what it is now and uh, again you can see I'll open the original image this was the original this is where I wish now Thank you for watching this video tutorial, um, see you later.